So with the recent buffs to Wheelix, I figured this would be a perfect time to give an in-depth guide to her. I, I haven't really seen any good in-depth ability guides to Wheelix. Uh, we can obviously has the uh, counter matchups and build guide, which I'll link in the description. It's actually a pretty good build guide, honestly. I mean, obviously he's a pro player, so it's really good. But he didn't really go over how in-depth her abilities actually go because I don't think a lot of people realize how good a Wheelix is against so many different characters. So in this video, I'm going to go over some examples of uh, how you can use her abilities correctly in different matchups and why she's so strong. So first of all, this one's pretty simple, but uh, could be effective if you're chasing down an enemy. A lot of people don't realize that the distance you can feather step at is a little bit further than probably what it would seem like. So about if the head of Suku on your three on Moonlight Charge is inside the enemy, you're gonna be able to feather step on them. And that's actually a pretty good range, honestly. And you could, you could all attack and come back, you know? So it's not, it's not a really great tip, but it can help you if you're chasing down enemies. If you know you're not gonna be able to get on them, you could throw this and just Moonlight Charge over to them and root them. And that could be really strong in chasing. There's been some really clutch situations where I've gotten that off, where you know you're not gonna be able to catch up to them. Maybe your one's down. And I mean, sometimes it's even better to just use this instead of using your one, because it's just gonna catch you distance. Even if you're not in the range fully, if you can hit max range melee charge and just hit them and then walk up toward them, you can get the feather step off. And that's gonna be really strong for chasing. Her chase potential is insane. Even if you don't hit the knock up, you're still catching a lot of distance because you're procking your feather step. So if you can just get that proc off on your three, you're gonna be really effective at chasing people down. The next thing I want to go over is the fact that Feather Step actually roots targets and it cripples. And that, those two, the cripple and the root are really important because you're going to be able to cancel out a lot of abilities with it. Almost every dash in the game you can cancel with Feather Step. If you can listen to audio cues for it, you're going to be able to cancel dashes really effectively. Uh, people this is really good against uh, Agni, Medusa, people like that with dashes. A lot of people think a Wheelix only counters people with leaps, but I'd say a Wheelix counters anybody with a dash also. And any anyone without any movement, she counters really hard too because it's very easy to catch with your ult if you're able to uh, chase them down. So if you can listen, this is pretty hard to do. Uh, it takes a lot of practice for sure. But if you can listen for audio cues on dashes, like Ani's dash is really distinct, the audio cue when he's in a dash. You can hold your feather step to when either you hear the audio cue or when you can usually tell when someone's about to dash if they're trying to look away usually if they turn around i would feather step immediately because you're usually going to be able to catch their dash and i'll put over a clip of uh canceling an Agni dash here it's really really strong they're just, they have nothing they can do once you cancel the dash they're screwed basically so if you can get that off it makes your kit insane and it's really can also uh it gives you an immunity frame when you're actually in the leap. So when you're up there, you're actually immune. So you can get pretty cheeky with this and immune out, Krakens, uh, Bologna. Is, it's really strong against Bologna if you're trying to immune out, say, her Bludgeon. You can immune out, I've immune out Kabraken, uh, yeah, I'm not Kabraken, uh, Shin Chan's like leapy thing. I've immune that out before. You can immune a lot of things. Uh, you can get pretty weird with it. I guess it would technically would be possible to, to immune Raw Snipe just with the Moonlight Charge Feather Step combo. I'll try to see if I can get this Raw to ult me, and I'll try to show the immunity frame off. Uh, this guy he just likes to do his own thing, though. So see how I did there? When he ulted, I, I used my Moonlight Charge Feather Step combo to go over his ult. Obviously, that's not the best example of immunity frame. It's more so dodging it, I guess, but that's a really strong example of how you could use that effectively. Kraken is difficult if you're if you're in a whirlpool you're gonna have to beads to do it but if if Poseidon just baseline Krakens you you can usually get out of it with feather step so that's a very very strong part of a kit so a lot of times people are only really use gravity surge for the pool which obviously that's its main function it's really strong but the attack speed and physical power buff it gives you makes it really useful for a lot of other things that people don't realize uh I'm gonna try to show it here on the Gold Fury, so I'm proccing this to get more damage on the Gold Fury and see I'm burning it very fast. Obviously I have like full items, so it's not the greatest thing, but 
that's a situation where if you're trying to burn an objective like fire or or uh, gold fury, use that. It's also very good against towers. If you if you have max rank, that's seventy percent attack speed and sixty physical power. I mean, you're gonna be able to burn almost anything. Like the buff is actually pretty insane. I don't think a lot of people realize how good it is. Obviously, a lot of the SPL casters talk about it a lot, but it really is a very very potent buff. So you're gonna want to use that and. Not always you want to get the proc and your gravity surge off it. So if you're fighting a tank and you're not going to be able to get the knockup on them, sometimes it's just better to ult and just fight them base. Because you're going to be proccing your attack damage so hard, especially off of uh, Weakens build or any attack speed build really. If you're building crit or anything like that, it's going to be extremely strong. So I can try to show here. I'll buy some crit items. Sell out the spear robe and this titan's bane. And I can get uh, Deathbringer and Rage. So with this this fully stacked, I could probably crit raw pretty hard. So I'll just see what I can do here. And walk over to this chicken. Alright, so if we just pop this and go into the fight, we're we're critting for insane amounts. And a lot of people don't realize that. And you can this the duration is pretty long. It's not terrible. You it does a little moon the moon crescent, I guess. But yeah, you're gonna be critting insanely. And it looks it looks really does hurt. You see here, I'm getting pretty high crits. Eight, somewhere a thousand. So, I mean, you're going to be burning through people with that buff. The physical power is insane. The attack speed is just disgusting. I mean, you're proccing so many hits, it's... I don't even understand. I don't know how they're buffing this character even more, because I think Gravity Surge already is a really good ability. But, eh, it is what it is, guys. We get an even stronger Wheelix. Honestly, though, in my opinion, the better buff to a Wheelix would have been to give her CC immunity if someone is pulled. So if, like, I'll show you here when my ult comes up. If you pull someone off Moonlight Charge and get the Gravity Surge on them and the little line comes up, I think you should be CC immune because you can be any form of CC on you, uh, or any, like, hard CC, like, if you get, uh, knee ulted or something like that, it'll cancel your ult completely. Alright, so hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight on how to play Wheelix at a little bit of a higher level. A lot of these, some of you might know, but these are things that if you can get really good at, your Wheelix play is going to skyrocket. And I think that a lot of people are playing her just into leap con. Like, if you have knockups like Geb, it really helps her, but you really need to be able to play without any knockups on your team. And I think that's a good way to practice her, is to just run it on a comp that doesn't help you at all. And just try to land these gravity surges on your own, the Moonlight Charge gravity surge combo. And I think the easiest way to hit that on a Wheelix is if you can get the blink combo off. And it's pretty hard to do on this raw because he immediately turns around even if you blink. Like this guy is a god so I can't even really try it on him. But what really what all you're going to want to do is just blink behind someone, turn around, and be like charge them before they can turn around. It's it's a very strong combo. I'll try to do it on raw here but this guy is literally a god. Hi raw. No, no, he's broken. Please high res. <laughs> Your raw bots. I'll try to show. I'll try to get him to chase me here. I'll try to show you. There's his ult. Get away from my blink now. God damn it, raw. You're such an asshole. Stop auto attacking me, raw. I can't blink when you do this to me, raw. See how he turns around immediately? No player has that reaction time, so it's like it's it's pretty impossible to do on him, but. Well, what you're gonna want to do is blink behind someone, Moonlight Charge ult them. Uh, it's really strong also to be blinking the lane sideways because you can hit the knockup while they're sideways now like that. So realistically that's what you're gonna try to do. And if you can get good at that and you can get good at dash canceling and ability immuning and all that, you're really gonna be a very strong Wheelix player. And I hope this helps some of you. Leave a like if it did. Tell me your comments at the end if you have any things you want to tell me. Any things I missed on a Wheelix? Maybe there's something you know that I don't. Alright, well thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a good one.